Hey, John here again. So, I got a question. Does tire air pressure make a difference in fuel economy? <laughs> of course it does. Uh, and I didn't really think of that until I'm up here in my uh, wife's garage. She wants me to check her oil, I mean, uh, yeah, well, her oil too, but uh, her tire pressure. And I got to thinking, with my truck here, I'm getting horrible fuel mileage. I used to be able, I go snowmobile every weekend, I used to be able to make it up there and back. It's two hours up, two hours back. With one tank of gas, at last weekend, I was about 20 miles short. I had to get gas, so I'm thinking, geez, maybe the truck's getting old. It's got 80-something thousand miles on it, but I didn't really think about it too much until uh, she said, hey, can you check my tire pressure? Well, first of all, she's got a, a Subaru that has uh, the, TP, uh, the uh, tire mo monitoring, uh, tire pressure monitoring system, so you know, she has a little idiot light comes on that, you know, when your tires are low. This truck is a 90, no, no, it's a 2002, and it doesn't have that feature, but I do remember having a, a low pressure on, on the one tire. Now I'm thinking, maybe it's because, you know, my tires are low air pressure, and I'm getting this horrible fuel mileage, so I do want to do an experiment. So I'm going to go around and check the uh, pressures of the tires. And because these tires, these particular tires can hold up to 80 pounds, I'm thinking, uh, I, I, you know, who checks their tire pressure? <laughs> I know I don't. I, you know, I barely check the oil. <laughs> I mean, you know, so, so I'm going to go around and check the tire pressure. And then I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm going to do the same exact scenario this weekend. Take the truck up there. And come back and see what happens. First, let me get the, the tire pressures and see where I'm at with that. All right. Well, this is the right front, and that uh, <laughs> it's squat, and it doesn't look very healthy, right? And it's not like the truck is pulling or anything. I I just uh, again just thought I'd check my pressures. That thing only has 34 pounds of pressure in it. I don't know what I put in it originally. But every other tire that has about 44 to 45, somewhere in there. This one has 34. Again, these tires can hold 80 pounds of pressure. So here's my experiment. I'm going to, this has probably got a slow leak. Why is it 10 pounds different? I don't know, but I've had this problem in the past where it looks squatty, so it probably does have a slow leak. It's kind of a slow, slow leak. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and put... 80 pounds of pressure in each wheel, blow them right up. Probably ride like a, you know, steamroller, but what do I care if I get some good fuel mileage? And uh, do my little experiment. So let me do that, and then tomorrow morning when I get up, I, I got a full tank of fuel, just like uh, I had last weekend. But again, I was about 20 miles short. I couldn't make it home. I had to stop on a mass pike, get some fuel. Because I couldn't make it home, and, and uh, where that fuel station was was uh, about 20 miles from the house. So, so I'm going to do a little experiment. Let me fill these up with uh, 80 pounds, and then uh, I'll monitor the gas and see where I'm at. So, stand by. Well, let me just show you this uh, this tire. Ah. Well, it says 33. 33 pounds. That wasn't a good. Ah, it's hard to get it. There we go. Yeah, you probably can't see that, but 30. Uh, yeah, there's probably no way you can see that. Well, there you go. 33.5. <laughs> it's not like the tires are cuffed or anything, and it's not pulling or anything, but that's probably a little too low for this. Uh, it's a three-quarter ton pickup. I mean, you can ride them like that. It probably makes the ride better, but I'm gonna. I'm going to blow these right up to max pressure and see if I can make it to and from with one tank fuel. See how that goes. So let me put, uh, let me put 80 pounds in there. I'll show you. There's 80 pounds in there. Right. So I just got done filling up. This, uh, this gauge is a little bit different, but I think uh, it's about 3 pounds off. So I think this should measure. I don't know which one's more accurate, this one or that one, but the other one's... Uh, I got them all at 80. This is the last set. So, they're all at uh, 
don't know if you can see that, 80 pounds, it's like a cement tire, but, uh, so, yeah, if I thought I was hitting, you know, potholes before, wait till I skid sideways, <laughs> think a rough ride before, it's going to be really rough, but anyways, so, um, whew. As things go, me, uh, I mean, it's not going to be quite a scientific experiment because you don't have the before footage, but I can, you just have to take my word. There's a full tank now, and that's what I had before. Let me just see that over there. Full tank. Full tank. So I'm going to go tomorrow and do the same exact scenario. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. So they all have 80 pounds. Even even the uh, <laughs> oh shit. Hope I can make it out of here. Probably raise it up a couple inches. <laughs> Our garage is a little short there. Would the yeah, it looks like I can get out of there. Uh, so even the uh, the bulge went away. So let's see what the fuel mileage is going to be. So if I can get back with one tank of fuel. I'll be happy. Now, I nearly doubled the air pressure because they were all 44, 44, 45 over here. This one was 34. So, I nearly doubled the air pressure. Wouldn't that be something if I can double the fuel mileage? But, you know, that ain't going to happen. But if I can make it back on one tank of gas, I'll be happy. And then my little experiment will be a go as far as tire pressures versus fuel mileage man I got a call I can't even speak so anyways uh, tomorrow morning I get up and uh, I'll, I'll finish uh, or I don't know uh, when I get over to my friend's house I'll look at the fuel gauge see where we're at but signing off all right just getting to my destination and we have 121 miles and a little over half tank but that will might change here so we'll have to see, but all right, who's here? It's Roger. All right, but uh, the test will be tomorrow when we go home because uh, you know sometimes the fuel gauge goes faster on the other side. But we'll see. So this is about the same uh, exact scenario I did last week, and I couldn't make it home. So we'll see. What all right, so it's the next day, and uh, unfortunately, my little experiment had taken a turn as far as I couldn't do the exact same thing but at this point uh, what I mean is I had to use the truck for something else but I got the fuel back yesterday when I uh, pulled into my destination I was two ticks over half and I tried to get the fuel back to that because I like I said I had, I had to use the truck so um, so it was hard to do that but I got it close to where it was so this is where I got ran out of fuel last week and I still have just about a uh, quarter tank, a little under a quarter tank, and I only got about 20 miles to go, so I couldn't even make it past this point. I was really stretching to get to here, so uh, so my little experiment as far as tire pressure goes, it definitely makes a difference, so it's just like a question, it, when's the last time you checked your tires? <laughs> a and B, does it make a difference? in fuel mileage are you going to notice it for me i did notice it huge because i couldn't make it back and now i can with fuel to spare so that's my little experiment uh, check your tires <laughs> you might get some better fuel mileage that's all i got thanks for watching